Oh, I hate doing videos like this. I swear I do, you know. So I moseyed on over to Tierra or Tia Becca's Instagram page. You know, the fly sexy milf from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta season five with her beautiful self and bootyful self. You know, I figured I would go be thirsty. I hadn't been over there in a while. I got a new shipment of lotion and I, I had to stop being thirsty for a minute because I read something that was so incredibly disturbing. I mean, she told a story about how when she was younger, her and her sister were sexually assaulted. And I mean, the story contained information about ripped vaginas and just it, it was extreme. I won't even read it to you here. I reposted it on my blog, but it was too graphic. I mean, my stomach turned and it was just, man, you know, I like to be silly and whatnot, but every once in a while. Sorry about that, I just fell on the floor and passed out while recording. No, but seriously, every once in a while I have to make a serious video like this and it really hurts me because this is such a serious topic. You know, I try to make sure that I'm silly to, you know, lighten up the mood and whatnot, but this is one of those really dark subjects that, you know, I just, <clears throat> man, I really hate doing these types of videos. I really feel like I don't have the personality to do this type of video because I talk all this thirstiness and stuff like that about how fine the women are, you know, that, that's what I'm known for a little bit because I'm not really known like that yet. But anyways, the point is this though, this is such a serious and personal topic and I applaud her for having the strength to come out and speak about such a dark situation in her life because I'm pretty sure that her story will help others feel better about similar situations that they went through suffering certain things in their lifetime you know, maybe something not quite as extreme as what she went through, but there could have been something else that this story helps somebody, you know, to to feel and to understand that you're not alone in this world, that there's other people that have been through it too, and we need to support each other, not fight all the time. And, you know, she's a reality TV star, so we see <clears throat> the way that certain situations are portrayed, you know, between editing and producers getting into different things and saying well kind of you know maybe not making people do certain things but kind of egging certain things on or alluding to what may work on camera you know whatever they can do to get people to act out of character and stuff like that and you know it, when I read things like what I read from her book basically it was an excerpt from her book you know if you didn't notice she had a book it's titled love and war a story of tragedy and triumph by Tia Becca and if you read what she wrote on that particular page that she reposted upon Instagram and I posted on my blog please be sure to have yourself a Kleenex because you may cry I kid you not you've been warned it's really that crazy but yeah I just figured I would get the word out there you know to let people who have been through similar situations know that you're not alone and there is help out there that you can seek, love yourself, and never let anything that anybody does destroy you or stop you from being successful, stop you from doing what it is that you need to do for your God and yourself. But anyways, shout out to Tia Becca. I'm going to personally purchase her book, not just because of this excerpt, but because I know that, listen, it's freaking Tia Becca. She's everything. I've been a fan since I first saw her. I can't even front. She was so fine. I was like, damn, you know, <laughs> I'm a fan. Like <laughs> automatically it was automatic. But yeah, man, I'm going to get me a couple copies of this book. I'll probably give one or two away. Yeah, I'll probably get two or three of them and keep one for myself. Man, I can't wait to read it. And not because it's a juicy or anything like that, but because I know that there's interesting stories in there. Not just this particular topic, but I mean stories in general. But anyways. This is all my opinion. What do you think about what she wrote in her book? And have you ever read the whole book? If so, what do you think about the book in general? Are you going to purchase it? Have you purchased it? And do you agree with me that she should do an audiobook version? I would love to hear her read it because, you know, there's people like me who, you know, may prefer an audiobook over a printed book. You know, a lot of times I like to listen to audiobooks because it saves time or I can listen to it while I go to sleep and stuff like that. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more and follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.